With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students. So in this question, they have asked about the total number of geometrical isomers geometrical isomers in the given compound okay so you should know what are geometrical isomers geometrical isomers are cis and trans bonds okay and uh, we need two things for our uh, for our compound to show geometrical isomerism we need uh, carbon double bond carbon okay and second we need dif two different groups two different groups okay So, uh, which one will be called as cis and which one will be called as trans? See, here we have C double bond C and we have two different groups A, A and B, B. Okay. And here we have C double bond C. We have here A, B and here A and B. So, you can see over here we have this A and A on the same side. Therefore, we called it as cis. Same groups on the same size, it will be called as cis. Same group on the different side, it will be called as trans. Okay. So, now we are going to see in this structure. We have over here three, uh, three double bonds. Let me name them A, B and C. Okay. So, uh, and for the simplicity, I am going to name this group as R and this group as also R. Okay. These both groups are same. Okay. So, now we have three double bonds right and we are gonna uh, make the structures for both the three all the threes okay so for uh, a1 how what we'll draw is this is our c and one side it is h and one side it is r okay this group okay so this is double bond and one side d and other side we have d i have taken so next we have left with this one okay so it is c h double bond c h single bond c d single bond c h and this is r okay this is the first one uh, isom uh, this is the first one isomer and the second one is c double bond c here r and here h we can so create this side d and this side it is c h double bond c h single bond c d single bond c h sorry here it is double bond this side also it is double bond okay so uh, this r okay so you can see um, d is nothing but it is the isotope of h so we this is on the same side so this is cis and these are on the different side so this is trans okay so now uh, we are going to the next part say uh, our double bond b okay so b has b has double bond here and one side it is h and one side it is h over here okay so next part is next part is c d double bond c h and c d double bond c h and we next we have here is r okay here also same c d double bond c h and here we have r okay the next isotope we can make is c double bond c this time h on the different direction okay c d double bond c h and this is our r okay and this is c d double bond c h and this side r so this one is cis again and this one is our trans so we have made total four and now if we if we uh, make the isomers from c that those isomers will be same as that we have made from a double bond a how let me show you okay see uh, in uh, from c we have a double bond over here you can clearly see it over here okay so we it is uh, this group is nothing but it is a uh, reverse of a how we have one a d over and here we have c h double bond c h and single bond c d double bond c h and here r okay and this side we have r this side ring and this side d okay so this whole uh this is cis sorry this is h 
this is cis and the trans will also be the different but you can see this cis is this cis is similar to this one cis okay so we cannot count it as number uh, as a different number they will be counted in the same category okay so we how many total isotopes we have over here is we have one two and three and four we have total four number of isometric isomers okay so this was the solution i hope you understand thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today